Okay, I've nailed my two stringers on the edge. And now I want to place the middle stringer exactly in the middle. Now I already made my marks on there, but I want to show you what I process here. I hooked over there and I came over here and I have 39 inches. So half of 39 inches is going to be 18 and I mean 19 and a half. And you can see the marks that I made here. I made where the uh, where the stringer is going to go. Now, 19 and a half is exactly the center. You could always just mark it at 19 and a half and put the stringer in the center. Or you can deduct three quarters of an inch from the center because we have uh, two by fours, which are an inch and a half thick. Deduct half of the inch and a half thickness, which is three quarters. Make a mark, 18 and three quarters. And all you have to do to double check is hook over there and come back here and we have 18 and 3 quarters so we know it's in the center. Just wanted to give you an idea about double checking. Sometimes we get in a hurry and we don't we just measure it and nail the stuff up and we find out that we're an inch or two off and sometimes that inch um, can make a big difference uh, especially in a situation like this where we're going to be 18 and 3 quarter inches on center um, where we want to be 16 inches normally. So again, check with your plywood. Some 3 quarter inch plywood spans 24 inches for your floors. So 3 quarter inch plywood for the stairway might work. But I do want to point something out is some building codes, some building departments, require larger materials for your stair treads. So check with them to make sure that uh, they accept what you have before you build it. Um, the last thing you want to do is build the stairway and then have them um, have them make you tear it down. So, and trust me, sometimes uh, stuff like that happens.